Greetings. Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to calculate previous month sales in Power BI using DAX functions in calculated measure. Let's have a look on the sample source data. In the sample source data, we have sales table which contains five columns. First column contains the sales date. The second column contains the sales year. The third column contains the sales month short name. The fourth column contains the sales month number. And the fifth column contains the sales amount. To calculate previous month sales, we must add a calculated table to create a date table in this data model. To work with time intelligence DAX functions, there is a prerequisite model requirement. We must have at least one date table in your model. Requirements to create date table are it must have a column of data type date, it must contain unique values and not contain blanks or missing dates. We use DAX to generate a date table in your model by creating a calculated table using either the calendar or calendar auto DAX functions. Each function returns a single column table of dates. You can then extend the calculated table with calculated columns to support your date interval filtering and grouping requirements. To add a calculated table, select new table from table tools tab. We have renamed the new calculated table as date table. Use calendar function when you want to define a date range. You pass in two values, the start date and end date. We use first date DAX function to get the first date from the selected column sales date from the sales table. Then last date function to get the last date from the selected column sales date of sales table. We have successfully created the date table within the specific dates using calendar DAX function. Now we will create a relationship between sales table and date table. To create a relationship, go to model tab. In model tab, drag date column from date table and match with sales date column in sales table. We have successfully created a relationship between sales table and date table. Next, Using the sales table and date table, we will calculate the previous month sales using DAX functions in measure. To add a new measure, select new measure from home tab. We have renamed the new measure as previous month sales. Measures are used in some of the most common data analysis and simple summarizations. The calculated results of measures are always changing in response to your interaction with your reports. We will start with where keyword and named it as previous. It stores the result of an expression as a named variable which can be passed as an argument to other measure expressions. Once resultant values have been calculated for a variable expression, those values do not change even if the variable is referenced in another expression. Using variables in DAX function improve the performance of DAX function, improve the readability, simplify debugging and reduce complexity. Use calculate DAX function to evaluate an expression in a modified filter context. As an expression of calculate DAX function, 
we use some DAX function to calculate the total of sales amount column from sales table. In filter parameter of calculate DAX function, we use previous month DAX function which returns a table that contains a column of all dates from the previous month based on the first date in the date column of date table. We use return keyword which consumes variables defined. Along with it, we use if statement to get the conditional output to replace the blank value. We provide logical condition as if output of the variable is blank, if this condition is true, it will return 0. Else, if this condition is false, then it will return the output of the defined variable previous and close the parenthesis of if function. Let's create a table to visualize this data. Select table visual from visualization section. Drag all columns including previous month sales measure but accept sales date column from sales table and place it in columns field of table visual. New table visual is created with the selected columns and in previous month sales column we can see the zero in first because it contains blank values so as per the condition provided in the calculated measure it returns zero. In remaining rows it shows the previous month total sales. This is the simplest way to calculate the previous month sales in Power BI using DAX functions in calculated measure. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.